sure, I'm pretty sure you heard of this murder, murder cow on steroids. Like, it's just a cow with horns. And most cows don't even have horns. But, like, their female relatives, buffaloes are strong. And they can be very dangerous prey for animals like lions. Because they will gang up on a singer at gang up on a single attacker and flip it in the air like they're flipping pancakes and they do this on a regular basis hunters and hunters should be advised not to hunt this animal either because once a wounded buffalo is wound once a buffalo is wounded it will retreat and tall bush or grass and if you make the mistake of following it it will hit it would it will head charge you, knock you clear into the ground, and keep on doing it until you're not moving. And sometimes there's been reports of these of these murder cows chasing hunters up in the trees and camping up in the trees, just waiting for just waiting for the hunters to make a to make a move, and then the hunters fall out of this tree and die. I have to say, not all hunts of lions go successful, especially when hunting a bull buffalo. A bull buffalo. Bull buffaloes are massive, and their horns are thicker, are thicker than females' horns. They're generally bigger than females. Females called cows. Males called are called bulls. And let me just say, they are very dangerous. They are da dangerous prey for lions because they'll just flip a lion into the air. I mean, just look at this. Just flips lion into the air. Air. When when a family member or a friend is attacked, they will flip the attacker up in the air to dislodge it. And sometimes it works. While these group of buffaloes are herding up together, just in minding their business, a male, a male lion comes comes for takeout he he begins approaching the buffaloes and before he kills one but i don't understand is why is the buffalo not fighting i mean i get when someone bites your windpipe you're gonna be you're gonna be immobilized but like if it was me i'm fighting for my life i'm not just gonna let some some steroid cat take me down. I don't understand why the buffalo is not ramming into the lion with its sharp horns. It can it can cause significantly significant damage to the lion, and the lion basically won't be able to hunt. But it looks like the lion has this tight grip on the buffalo, and the buffalo the face of the buffalo doesn't look good. Good. And I guess someone is filming this on camera, and the buffalo, yeah, it, it's, it's, it's dead. <sighs> dead. The lion continues to bite the windpipe of the buffalo, biting into its neck, and it is likely that the buffalo will eventually pass out and fall on the ground, making it the hunt more easy for the lion. Lion. But lions can't get too comfortable hunting this steroid trench cow because sometimes the hunter becomes the hunted. I don't know who would have the balls to put their finger into a lion's enclosure. Certainly not me. Although I did the same thing with a tiger. But the tiger was cool. But this guy, yeah, this is kind of stupid. And yet they filmed this on camera. The lion refuses to let go of the of his finger so he eventually musters up the courage to literally rip his finger out of the lion's mouth the lion could have easily steroid his whole finger off if it wanted to lions are not your typical house cat typical typical house cat pick up a cat that doesn't want to be held your whole hand will be ripped off but i don't understand this why if if cougars and the jaguar rundy are the cheetah's closest co relative, oh no, that's the cougar's closest relative, the cheetah and the jaguar rundy, well, if that's the cheetah's closest relative, how come it purrs? I mean, mountain lions purr, but they make this kind of sound. I'm going to try to make it. Something like that. It's kind of like, it's kind of like a roar. But like a meow at the same time, it's like, I'll play a sound of it.
but cheetahs are closer to your pet cat than they are to lions, leopards, tigers, and jaguars. Number one, they can't even roar. And they have non resactable claws, non retractable claws, non retractable claws. So, yeah. And they can run up speeds to zero to 70 miles per hour in only two seconds. And they are extremely agile. And also, yeah, cheetahs can't roar, while lions can roar. Also, a lion will win a fight against a cheetah. Lions are bigger than cheetahs. And, yeah, they're stronger than cheetahs. The only good advantage a cheetah has is speed, is speed, but that's it. Other than that, they get bodied by the whole jungle. Even hyenas, which are a quarter, which which is a quarter, which are a quarter of the cheetah's size, Cheetahs get victimized, and they can't fully retract their claws, so I say they have non-resactable claws, non-retractable claws. But unlike other other big cats, cheetahs have speed, and they can run. See, other big cats, they're much of pouncers, like leopards. Leopards are pouncers, not runners. But cheetahs have the ability to run and catch their prey very easily because they can run fast. I have to say, some big cats hunt in completely different ways, while, while leopards, leopards prefer to stalk their prey in trees and then jump down on top of them, then hoist them back on the, up the tree. Let's say that's different from tigers. But like the leopard, tiger has stealth, but it is not as stealthy as a leopard. And in India, the Bengal tiger hunts leopards. That's basically cannibalism, because they're both in the Felid family. They're both in the Felidae family. family. I'm pretty sure tigers are ambush predators and like to stalk their prey, then get close, then get close to them as possible, then land a deadly bite on the target's windpipe. They have an extremely powerful jaw, and their bite force is twice that of a lion, and they have an extremely good hunting prowess. Prowess. Wes. Prow. West. But there is one big cat that flies like lions, cheetahs, leopards, and j lions, cheetahs, and leopards, and tigers so well. Uh, that's the jaguar, because unlike every big cat who goes for the back of the neck or the windpipe, jaguars reverse that. Because unlike every big cat who goes from the back of the windpipe or the back of the neck, jaguars just say, at yeah, so jaguars, basically it's like, jaguars say that, and they bite on the back of the head to overcome prey. Jaguars can hunt caiman, and caiman can weigh several pounds, and I'm pretty sure they can be heavier than the jaguar itself. Jaguars hunt animals like South America's biggest, biggest animal, the tapir. They also hunt capybaras, giant, well there's no proof that a jaguar can kill a giant river otter, but I think they still can, even though giant river otters will gang up on the big cat and try to harass it, but jaguars are still apex predators. I mean, his name literally means he who kills with one leap. Jaguars derived from a, derived from a Native American word, jaguar, yay. Y-A-G-U-A-R, which means he who kills with one leap. And for many years, caiman had been the apex predator. But now jaguars are born and they decided to make the caiman's life a living misery. It's funny, because in this video, the jaguar does jump into a marsh. It looks like a marsh to dissect a caiman. And I believe jaguars do have non retract do have semi-retractable claws so they can swim climb trees they're very good at running in fact jaguars are faster than lions tigers and leopards the cheetah is the fastest of all big cats and yes they are faster than jaguars jaguars remain one of the strongest of the big cats this large female jaguar in the brazil pantanal killed a caiman she pounced on it and of course she managed to kill the smaller reptile reptile and the biggest 
Jaguar weighed. The largest Jaguar ever recorded was a male who weighed a male that weighed 490 449 pounds more than 300 pounds to put this weight in perspective this animal was about as big as a defensive as a defensive um oh defense miss lineman for the national football leggies jack Jacksville Jaguars most male Jaguars weigh fifty hundred kilogram to to eleven to eleven hundred to two thousand twenty pounds to two thousand and two pounds. Let's just say Jaguars have the most unforgiving bite force of any big cat. They specifically go for your head instead of your windpipe. But I think getting bitten on the head is way better than having someone just rip open your throat. And it seems the only animal that can deal significant damage to a jaguar is the giant anteater. Giant anteater has a pair of sharp claws that they use that they use instead of ice instead of glasses and hashtag they have very 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 bad eyesight other than that jaguars are the best of are the best of all the big cats they're better than lions tigers and of course they're better than cheetahs although i personally think leopards and cheetahs and jaguars on the own are the only big cats that are going to get respect and like leopards, they can climb trees, and they're very, very good at it. But here's how you distinguish a jaguar from a leopard. Number one, leopards have leopards have plain rosettes, they which they have black wood coated with a little bit of brown. But jaguars have rosettes inside their spots. Also, they don't have brown brown rosettes. Also, also jaguars are bigger, stockier stockier and more brolic than leopards leopards usually carry their prey up the trees but i don't think jaguars do that because they're the apex predator they are the apex predator in their home domain uh, also jaguars have a little bit of a stripe running down their back and interestingly leopards have bigger tails than jaguars to help them balance when they're trying to kill prey so that is how you differentiate a jaguar from a leopard. And the jaguar's closest relative is the leopard, along with the lion, the tiger. And I don't know if the cheetahs part. Cheetahs belong to the Asinonix genus. Yeah, I was right. Asinonix genus. Well, fun fact, if a giant anteater does this, it's not trying to show you infection by hugging you. Yeah, that's the only warning you you get before they start slashing you that one one zookeeper was attacked and uh, attacked that slash her stomach open and another man shortly died and this is why you should never adopt a hippo i mean who would want to adopt a hippo but one man did he named him humphrey and said it was a son to him and he saved him from a river well humphrey would pretty much mutilate his father while he was trying to feed him an apple he was pronounced a dead so this is why you should never try to adopt or tame a hippo hippos are wild animals and they i don't think they have been domesticated i mean you can't even ride them like you ride actual horses yeah hippos are not domesticated animals and are nearly see i was right so almost always no hippos are not domesticated which shouldn't be a surprise because you can't domesticate an animal that its main weapon in it is its mouth. And the pygmy hippos are less aggressive, but since they have a smaller size, in my opinion, they should be less aggressive. And I left off some stuff about the Indian bison. Bus Gowers, Bus Gowrus is a large species of cattle. Females are smaller than males. I think males are called bulls and females are called are called cows they have a do a do lap of skin that stretches from their neck 
to their legs and they are massive they're bigger than water buffalo they're bigger than water buffalo and bison indian gowers eat stuff like indian boxwood they also eat indian screw tree they also eat they also eat Indian shower, tr golden shower tree. They also eat this weird looking mushroom, mushroom tomato looking tree called the cashew plant. But they'll also eat herbs, shrubs, green grass, and they, they avoid eating woody vegetation. But if food is scarce, they will, they will debark tree bark. So in a fight between an American bison and an Indian gower, the gower will win because it is bigger than the buffalo. It is bigger than the bison. Excuse me for saying that. And some people actually do call bison buffalo, although their closest relatives are yaks, not buffaloes. So the gower will win a fight against, against the American buffalo. Or the American bison. But the American bison, bison is said to be more, most dang, more dangerous than its Indian American bisons are said to be more dangerous than grizzly bear. Though a grizzly bear can kill an American bison simply because it is weak, although it is bigger than the bear. So yeah, bears are one of the predators of these humongous cattle species. Although they can be domesticated, some gowers equipped to be nocturnal so they don't have to worry about humans hunting them. They were considered vulnerable by the IUCUN Red List because of poaching and they are taken by predators like huge mugger crocodiles and tigers. So the, so the Indian bison, also called the Indian gower, fights predators like the death rolling reptile crocodile tigers do hunt indian bison like i said tigers do be hunting indian bison although they are large and i don't know how a single tiger can manage to overpower overpower this cat this cow like creature the tigers manage to do it overpower the cattle like creature or a bison like creature they outweigh water buffaloes which are similar to cape buffaloes, but they have longer horns, I'm guessing. They also outweigh musk ox, which are, are also a cattle-like animal. They outweigh antelope. Indian gowers can be found in dry, in dry deliciousness forests, dry deciduous forests, but they can survive in not de, not dry deciduous deciduous forest they go into deciduous forest dry deciduous forest they were considered vulnerable by the iuc it the iucn red list for a very reason oh crap females and calves may be a brownish color but males are almost completely black also, Indian male gowers are called bulls, and they are larger than cows, and they have a dewlap of skin stretching to their, to their throat, to their neck, to their foreleg. They're basically just fat, basically just fat ass. Like I said, they're basically just fat ass. They're basically just fat ass. Other than that, that's going to do it for this video. Video. It was by far my most funnest video to make. That's like the fourth time I've them said that. But it's really fun. Stay safe. Don't go in the wilderness and I'll see you. Don't hit, go, Don't try to hunt a cake buffalo and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.